goal of the Energy Venda is to increase renewable energy and reduce emissions to 0% by 2050. Uh, the driver was the, the, the people didn't like nuclear power and they were very scared about nuclear power. And I also, I don't like it. I am excited. We said no. Nuclear is not clean, you know. You don't have CO2 emissions, but it's not clean. You have other problems of waste and danger and so on, but it's not a clean energy. Energy comes from rooftop solar and a hydroelectric plant owned by the cooperative. EWS purchases exclusively non-nuclear renewable energy, and any German household can choose to purchase their power from EWS rather than a utility that uses coal or nuclear power. An energy cooperative is when a group of people come together to produce renewable energy and sell it to the grid. It's always uh, looking for other uh, means of income and had always other ideas. And so we had the idea to make, to build our own little wind turbine. And this wind turbine and this you see, Mr. Schulz and my family are co-owners from this too. We built this together with the banking. They are 142 co-owners who built these two wind mills. We produce here 17 million kilowatt hours electricity. This is enough electricity for 19,000 people. Now we are 190 three owners, co-owners. For this turbine, 50 new co-owners came to us. We have had very quick our money. Of course, the main driver, let's say, 10 years ago was the feed and tariff. If you had a house, like 20 years ago, you had, this, you had a house and you put a solar panel on your house. You had some investment cost. And then you set back this energy that was produced on your rooftop, you set it back into the system and you got more money out of it. Great. So you're doing a good job for the environment by making money. I mean, this is the green capitalism at its best. The Germans were the first to did it, to have it. And uh, I mentioned that was a very good uh, uh, driver for the technology development. A lot of people actually engaged in this energy transition movement was the feed and tariff law and they had this fixed guaranteed income for 20 years. 
Yeah. So after five years or ten years, all your income investments were paid <coughs> off, and then you were just making money for ten years. When you have money as a driver for an idealistic idea, you have the best chance to get it. Grants are often given to innovation institutes that work on improving clean energy technology. If we have ideas, we go to industry and we try to convince the industry that it's a good idea. And then we do research projects together with industry. Tram and train transit is encouraged and city buses are being electrified. The feed-in tariff is being phased out and is now being replaced by an auction system that controls how much renewable energy capacity is added each year. Right, and this really advantages um, big corporations over citizen projects. Small civic corporations normally they don't have the know-how and the management and the capital to go through this tender system. Before, with the Renewable Energy Act, there was unlimited introduction of renewables to the grid. Renewables had priority, but the way the laws change now is they can actually have a cap that limits how much uh, renew new renewables can be added to the grid. I think it, it will be growing, but not so quick as it was possible if, uh, by the old system. By the new system, the government will uh, Keep it and uh, control it. Germany is now third in the world for renewable energy capacity, and half of that capacity is owned by citizen cooperatives. We need a combination of different technologies, different storages, and only wind will not do it, only solar will not do it. I think that's well, worldwide the understanding that the need for, for uh, reducing the carbon emissions is totally clear. All the parties are discussing clean energy topics and cannot, cannot really avoid to, to think about it and also to, to work on it. The cost of renewable energy has also been falling. Since 2006, the price of solar has dropped 74%. German government's decision to shut all nuclear reactors by 2022 may serve as an international example. German Chancellor Angela Merkel believes this will create huge opportunities for the future. It's 
We believe we as a country can be a trailblazer for a new age of renewable energy sources. We can be the first major industrialized country that achieves the transition to renewable energy.